Let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Good day students. Our lesson for today is about percentile rank. What is percentile rank? In statistics, the percentile rank of a given score is the percentage of scores in its frequency distribution that are less than or equal to that score. From the word percentiles, percent rate is involved. There's a percentile rank formula where PR is the percentile rank, the answer will be the percentage, N is the total frequency, P the raw score or value for which one wants to find a percentile rank, LB the lower boundary of the KTH percentile class, FP frequency of percentile class, CFP cumulative frequency of all the values below the critical value, and I, the size of the class interval. To deepen our knowledge, there's a sample problem below in the left side. Sir Val conducted a summative test for all grade 10 students. One of his students, which is Fran Jeremy, scored 90. What is the percentile rank of Fran Jeremy's score? It is a group data, so there's a table. The first column are the math summative scores in interval form. The second column contains the frequency. The third column is for the LB or the lower boundaries. And the last column is the CF, which means cumulative frequency. So let's solve for the third column or the lower boundaries. Let's start at the top under the column of math summative scores, which is the 95 to 99. To get the lower boundary, just subtract the lower limit by 0.5. Lower limit is the lower number, so the lower limit of 95 to 99 is 95. Then, 95 minus 0.5 is 94.5. The process is still the same. Next is the 90 minus 94. The lower limit is 90, so 90 minus 0.5 is 89.5, and so on. To get the CF or cumulative frequency in the fourth column is you just need to copy the last number under the F or frequency. The last number is 17 where the red circle pinpoint. Copy the 17 and put it where the green arrow pinpoint. After copying, add the number in a diagonal form. You should add the copied number 17 to 40. 17 plus 40 is equal to 57. Put your answer where the green arrow pinpoints. The process is the same. Add the number 57 to 35 and put your answers 92 here where you see a green arrow. And so on. Since your table is now complete, you should fill in the needed variables in the right side. The problem states about finding the percentile rank of 90, and 90 is within 90 to 40. So let's focus on the second row or the red color only. Our LB is 89.5. Our P is 90 since we are finding for the percentile rank of 90. Our N is 120, the sum of our frequency under the letter F column. Our CFP, it means the cumulative frequency below the critical value. Follow the green arrow, that is our cumulative frequency but below 112 is 92 so we should write 92. Last is the I or interval. Since 90 is within 90 to 94, just count 90 to 94 and all in all is 5 so our I is 5. We are done filling up our needed variables. There's a formula below in the left side will serve as our guide in solving the test. Substitute all the variables in the formula. And follow the PEMDAS rule and simplify. 90 minus 89.5 is equal to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 20 is 10 and still copy the remaining numbers and 10 divide 5 is 2. Finally, 0 0.83 plus 2 plus 92 is 94.83. Round off the answer so it will become 95%.
Last step is to interpret the results. Since our answer is 95%, therefore, 95% of the grade 10 students' grades are less than cumulative frequency of 90, while 5% of the grades are greater than the cumulative frequency. The 5% is from subtracting 100 by 95, so it results to 5. To summarize, first step is to fill up the table. Second is to fill up and get the variables. Third is to substitute the variable to the formula and simplify. Finally, is to interpret the results. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something about my discussion.